Hello, and I wanted to show you something to help you with your rehab when you're training grip strength or anything involving uh, your hands, forearm, elbow area. So this is called an arm aid, and it straps to your leg. So you go here, and there's a little clipper or snap strap that you can snap on like that. I don't know if you heard that. And you can tighten it if you need to make it tighter on your leg. There's a little ball and socket joint here to make it move around easily. And then there's this um, area right here that you can adjust the forearm um, size. These little balls right here are like pressure point areas and this is a roller so your hand can go in and out easily. Uh, and you can adjust the amount of pressure with your other hand. So what you do with it is, um, there's two ways I like to use it. So first thing I'll do is I, I start up near the elbow and then I give compression and then I pull outward toward this way toward my hand. So I keep going back and then apply pressure and keep doing that in the direction of my fingers. The reason I'm doing that is when you, when you squeeze like this, everything kind of gets pulled this way, okay? So you're pulling everything that direction. And so if that's the way everything's going, it's all tightened up, being balled up and knotted up in here. So I'm trying to push it the other way, kind of like, think of it like if a taffy got balled up in one direction, and you want to pull it the other way, or a dough, and you want to pull it the other way to kind of lengthen that back out again. Um, it's worked pretty well in my opinion. This is kind of a massage therapy technique called a stroke, in which you're trying to pull it away from that area so that it's um, lengthening that area out and kind of breaking up that, uh, that knot going on there. So I would repeat that over and over again, and then sometimes I'll go a little slower and I'll try to find that one spot that just sucks. And when I find it, it's right about there for me right now, I'll just get a little bit more tension in my hand and keep pulling outward. Some people like to have their hand extended when they're doing this or opened up like that or just relaxed. It doesn't matter. In my opinion, um, there's probably some differentiation between those two. Um, but that is one thing that I like to do to kind of help that out. The cool thing about this too is you can flip it over and get the other side as well. And you can also get up here in your tricep and bicep too. So it can get you a little bit higher up into that area if you find that you're having issues with that um, spot as well. And usually these areas will affect you know, your wrist, your fingers, and your elbow area like that. So this is one thing I like to use, the arm aid. It's not too expensive um, and it's helped me out a lot um, as far as uh, anything involving grip oriented stuff. Um, I've been using it a lot more recently too, so it's a, it's a pretty good device. Check that out. Hello everybody. So you've seen me using this quite a lot in my uh, Instagram videos. This is called a rice bucket, and it literally is a five gallon bucket that you can get from like the home improvement place. And you put about 30 pounds, 35 pounds of dry rice in it. And it's for prehabbing, and sometimes rehabbing your wrists uh, for all kinds of things. I use it for my handstands and acrobatic stuff like that. But you do all kinds of things with it. You squish the rice, you, I put my fingers in and spread them out, I twist back and forth, I try to get as far down into it as I can for about four to five minutes. And it starts to get really annoying at that point, but it helps a lot, and it's a great way for keeping your wrists, elbow, shoulder very healthy. So, hopefully you try it out. Okay, so this is another thing I use to help with um, overcoming all those knots you get from doing lots of grip work. Um, so, this is called a voodoo floss band, and what you're gonna do is, what it is actually, is a uh, latex or rubber, kind of like an inner tube -y kind of material, and it's thicker and thin this way versus a normal TheraBand strap or um, resistance band strap. So this right here allows you to effectively wrap your arm um, and the point of this uh, rehab exercise, or I would say prehab, because I actually do this before my training, is it's going to push all the blood out of the area and cause the surfaces to rub against each other on the inside of my arm. And then, that will actually help to clean up the area and uh, release some of the tension I have in that area. So, I'm gonna wrap this in the direction of 
toward my heart. Um, and you want to give a good amount of uh, tension in it, okay? Wrapping all the way up the forearm, because that's where all those um, muscles are at for the grip. They're also in your hand, but this is the area that tends to get junked up a lot is in this elbow region right here. So what I do with this, okay, once I got the band in place, I'm going to turn my hand completely around here, and then I'm going to go into bends, extensions, like that. You can see a little farther away, okay, I go and bend and I extend, bend and I extend, and I can give myself a little bit extra help here with that arm, okay, and this is just the spiraling action is causing me to kind of rub those surfaces together, turn the hand the other way, this way, and coming around this way by a little bit, get that spiraling action there, so I'm going to do this in several different positions. Um, just by moving the hand, wrist around like this too will help a lot. And then you also want to do it in a hanging position as well. So here's me on the bar here. So I'm going to hang on it as well because that's going to help activate those muscles that I use for my grip quite a lot. And they'll be acted underneath this pressure that I have going on right here. So it's going to help to further get those services to push against each other. All right, come around, back and forth. Okay, and you also want to do a few pull-ups if you can, with it on. I do this for a while until I feel like the, uh, like I'm like just had enough of having this thing on, so I have the claustrophobic method. Also, if you feel like your hand is getting white, so you can see this hand is white compared to this one being red because there's no blood in this one. That's also another great indication here. Um, but you gotta be smart about it. You know, you go as long as you can, but don't be stupid about it, obviously. You release that, and that frees up a lot of those junked up areas there. So that's really cool as far as um, another way to kind of release those areas after doing some intensive grip training um, or the next day or prior to doing grip stuff. I do this a lot when I'm going to climb ropes um, and it helps me so that I don't because I get a lot of, I get really junked up in this lower area right here. There's some other things I can do for that too, but if I want a more permanent response, I'll have to get some dry needling done, which is um, a way to kind of get those smaller knots out by causing the muscle to spasm. Uh, by, by kind of flicking it with a acupuncture needle. So I had it done a little bit and it was pretty successful. But I have to save up to afford doing it. So now here's another way that I like to do. This way is that I call the poor man's sports massage for your forearms. And all you're gonna do is put your forearm on the floor and you kneel it. So you're gonna take your knee and squish your forearm. If you're doing a lot of grip training and your forearms are dead, this is a great way to kind of get them to relax because the, the muscle will tense up quite badly. So I'm literally just kneeing on top of it and kind of moving it around and getting it to release in certain areas if possible. I also move my hand through the motion here. So open and close it as I'm squeezing it. And you can do this with both knees. Um, you'll get a slightly different angle if you use the, the opposite knee for the same arm as you would through the other way. And then of course, turning it over is a little bit harder because it's hard to get your knee up there. But gotta try and get to that area too and get the other side of your arm that way. So you can spend a good, you know, three to five minutes on each arm and it'll be a really good thing to do after doing um, some training of a lot of grip training. These are my different ways of alleviating those areas. There's more of them too that I haven't really dived into too much, but I use these as a staple for when I'm doing a lot of grip training work.